Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, this is, um, it's exactly what you think it is. It's ESPN NFL 2K5, and I decided, let's try something new. Let's try something fancy. I'm going to be doing a fantasy draft roster here. Now I'm going to customize my league and take the preseason games off while allowing owner firing, which I think it might just be fun. Now, I, I just want to, like, change the division just to see. Okay, so one, I looked, I googled it, and one of them said they should kick the Dolphins out and put in the Giants. The Giants actually make sense, but when you look at it from a historical aspect, it doesn't. Okay, the other one was the AFC North. Steelers, Ravens, Browns, Bengals. We're gonna get rid of a very good rivalry here. And we're gonna put in the Colts because they were the original Baltimore team. Which I guess, I, you know, uh, it doesn't really make sense. It, they kind of are in that north area though, so it, it, it does kind of make sense. It's more like m middle, the central. Oh god, this is stupid. <laughs> okay, so the AFC South, I'm, I'm doing this based off of some guy on Bleacher Report. It says, in the AFC South, Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and kick out the Ravens, and let's put in the Chiefs. Okay, that's fine, I'm fine with that, right? They're kind of south, I guess, I don't know why. The reason they put them in here is because of their history as them being the original Dallas Texans, which makes sense because the Texans are in here, but it doesn't make any sense because they kicked out the Texans. The next team on here would be The Saints, which I get it too, they're south, but why would you take them out of the NFC and just keep them in the AFC? I think that division, actually, the, the NFC South is probably one of the better divisions when you talk about them being all together in a place. Same thing with the North. And uh, they took out the Texans. I don't know why they took them out. And then they put another team that I'm not quite sure why they would put them in here, the Rams. They put the Rams in there. I don't know why this guy put them in there. This is... And then they kept the Titans there. Out of all the teams, they kept the Titans there. So, I don't know. This is, I don't know. I don't know why they put that. His explanation was, his explanation is there's a lot more history here than meets the eye. There's a lot more history here than meets the eye. That, I don't know. That sentence sounded weird when I said it the first time. They kept the Raiders. They kept the Chargers. But they took out the Broncos and the Ravens were never in it. So, one team that they added, the Seahawks, which kind of makes sense because they're in the NFC, this, that, and, you know. I kind of like the NFC West though. And another team they decided to bring in here, 49ers. They just exchanged two NFC teams to the other side. I think it's kind of cool though, just because we're never ever gonna see this ever happen. So why not? Why not realign it? I know this is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but... So, we got the Cowboys. We don't have the Cowboys. <laughs> we got someone else in front of the Cowboys. We got the one team that we've been moving around this entire time. The Ravens. I thought I was going to say Raiders, didn't you? And then they... I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. They moved the Panthers over here. Oops. Uh, I moved the one team that shouldn't have been moved. Uh, <laughs> the Eagles. The Eagles stay here in the East, and the Redskins stay here in the East. Why did he put this? Okay, now now this one. This one hasn't changed at all. So we got the Bears, we got the Lions, we got the Packers, and we got the Vikings. So this one, nah, I, I, yeah, they should keep this one. This one's really good. I like it, especially these three teams. I'm sorry about the Vikings. They haven't really the the purple people eater. I think that's what they were called. And now we go to the NFC South. Which has the Falcons. Yep, they got the Falcons. They uh, they kept the Buccaneers in it, and uh, <laughs> they they put Miami here and they put the Jaguars here. I think I would be happy with that. I would be happy with that. So then let's go to the West. I'm assuming that's exactly how the West is gonna be. Why would you put the Texans in the West, and why would you put the Cowboys in the West? They're in the South. I don't know. It doesn't even matter anymore. So. That's it. That's actually a pretty good lineup. 
I wouldn't mind seeing those two teams go against each other. So, like, this is a fantasy draft, by the way. And, you know, what? I'm not going to deny it. The Dolphins are my team. I'm playing with them, bro. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick my players. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to just simulate the season and see how my team does without me playing as them. And I will do the draft and so forth and such. But this this video is just me drafting and doing the first season that's it if you like it we can do more if not then okay so should we go after a quarterback too a young quarterback a Michael Vick quarterback nah he might go to jail uh, I really want Chad Pennington just because of the whole nostalgic feeling going on here in 2008 oh poor Trent Green man he got kneed in the head and he never got back up uh I just don't know who to pick here here's why I do not want to pick Dante Culpepper you remember what happened 10 years ago? That is why. You know what? Screw it. I'm going Chad Pennington. I know I shouldn't just because there's a whole bunch of other people I should be picking. But I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Should I get a wide receiver? Ocho Cinco. I do not think he, he is that good. I feel like we need a running back. Should I go after Travis Henry? I kind of want to go after Travis Henry just because... Right now, this is like starter caliber running backs, and then we go into the backups. So it's like Brian Westbrook or Travis Henry. Who do you think is a better option here? I'm looking for the future. I'm not looking for anything else. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to go for Brian Westbrook. Maybe there's so you guys are probably saying, go for Marshall Falk, which I kind of want to do, but like he's already at the edge of retirement there. So I'm going to go for Westbrook. Plexico. Oh. Oh man, Marty Booker, I remember him. Oh, Chris Chambers. Jerry Rice. Oh man, this is like a really hard pick for me to do right now. Anquan Bolden. I might actually go into Anquan Bolden territory. Okay, we need a target, right? I'm gonna go Plexico. Should we have two receivers? Should we have two receivers? I kind of want to just go into the defense. That's why. There's a really good inside linebacker right there. <laughs> Screw it. I'm picking up Anquan Bolden. I probably shouldn't have. Should I pick up a tight end too? Algy Crumpler! We're gonna have a really good offense, or I feel like we should have a good offense. Okay, I'm gonna go for Levi Jones just because I'm going for age at this point, and now I'm gonna be going for defense. I, I gotta pick up my boy, man. I don't care how old he is, he's my boy! Mike Doss. I have a feeling he might be there. <gasps> That's my other boy! Brock Marion! Ah, oh, jeez, man. I'm going for McCree here, man. Yep, I'm glad I kind of did that. Got Mike Doss. Ah, oh, I could go for a veteran and then I could probably pick up a younger guy. Hopefully one of these two guys is still here. Yep. I already have an inside linebacker. Uh, Lance Briggs. Hey. Probably go after a defensive end now. There's some young guys on here though, so that's good. That's a very fast defensive tackle. I'm gonna pick up a center now. I'm gonna pick up uh, Jeff Saturday. Oh man, that guy was pungy back then. No. Okay, now I got two tackles. I'm gonna pick up a guard. I'm gonna pick up an outside linebacker. Another one. Donnie Jones? Okay, now we're getting into, like, the territory of players that no one wants. Oh, come on. You know I gotta get myself a veteran here. Garrison Hurst. I think he was the first person on the Madden cover, by the way. Shout out. If you don't believe me, look it up. Oh, 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 oh. Jonathan Vilma! I got Bob Sanders. Oh look, Randy Starks! Okay, so I kind of already picked everyone that I wanted. And I'm just gonna let the, the computer pick the rest of them. Improve the team's pass defense. Achieve a rank of at least 25 in the league. I'm 24. <laughs> I'm on track. My primary goal is to win the division. That ain't gonna happen. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to sim simulate four games at a time. Once we're done with those four games, I will check up the stats, see what they're doing, 
and I will change the roster based on what seems fit or keep it the same and hope that things change for the better. Two really close games so far. They won the home opener, they lost to Seattle. 31 to 28. I kind of want to know how the box score was for that one. Mmm, they beat Atlanta. Atlanta. And they lost to the 49ers. This is actually a really close uh, matchup they got going on here. We're third in the division. But just because of the bye week. So that's that's not too bad. We're not too far away from first. Okay, player stats. Chad Pennington is doing his J-O-B. That offensive line is protecting though. That's something that I, I wasn't expecting. I'm a little upset at that running game. Um, Brian Westbrook is out. Receiving. Zach Thomas, obviously. Injury report. He's out for one more week. That's not too bad. And I think we're 11th? Yeah, we're 11th. We're gonna go ahead and skip forward again. Four games. And let's see what happens. To be perfectly honest with you, I am as shocked as you are. I have no idea <laughs> what the hell is going on. We're five and three. We went three and one in this four game stretch. Don't know what happened. We moved up. We were 11th. We moved up. There you go. There's Chad Pennington again. I think it was a really, oh, he got sacked a lot though in these past four games. I think it was a really good choice to pick him up. There we go, Brian Westbrook back in back in healthy. He's doing pretty good. I was gonna bring this guy back into it. And he's passing the ball around to everyone, so that's good. Zach Thomas. Beast mode! Holy snap. That guy's doing his job. Nate Clements doesn't look very happy. We're one game down. Let's see if we can catch up with this next four game stretch. No idea what I'm doing. We're eight and four. We beat Tampa. Wait, did we already play them? No, we haven't. So that technically means we're ahead of them. Oh my jeez. We're ahead of Tampa, and we beat Arizona. We didn't just beat Arizona. We blew them away. We blew them away. We blew uh, Tampa Bay away, and and we beat Jacksonville, which means. Jacksonville lost four straight games. Oh man. Oh. I have no idea how this is gonna work out. Look at that. We're first now. We're first. Chad Pennington, man. 3,200 yards. 20 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 18 sacks. Rushing is not the greatest, but he has 8 touchdowns, which is pretty good. Chad Pennington showing that he has some legs with that 1.4 average. I don't think we're gonna get a thousand yard receiver. But, um. Mike Doss, he's a safety and he's putting in some good work. Yeah, the kicking is not very good. <laughs> we're in the NFC. We only have four games left to go. And I am first in this division with players that I thought were not going to be that good. I thought they were going to be good, I just didn't think they were going to be that good. And so, I don't know if we should just do two weeks at a time or four weeks at a time. 
I don't know, but we have to at least win the next- we have to win two games. This is gonna be interesting. Come on, we gotta at least beat Jacksonville, man. Yes! I don't know if we're in the playoffs. We're 10 and 6. We have to have at least made the wild card. Oh my god, if we would have just won, if we would have beaten the Buccaneers, we would have had all of what they have. We would have clinched the playoffs, we would have had a first round bye, we would have had the division title, and we would have had home field advantage. See how my team did though. He almost had 4,000 yards. I think he had a better campaign here than he did in 2008. Picked up his average. I feel like my defense didn't do that much. Better someone is probable. Madison stepped up his game. Of course, Tom fucking Brady somehow ended up in New England. Ah, at least Chad Bennington made it in the top ten. Air McNair, man. It's Jake the Snake Plumber. Peyton Manning and Brett Favre, man. He had the most passing yards. He had the most touchdowns. Yeah, Jeff Garcia. Oops. Rushing. Look at that. Jamal Lewis went to the Browns. Oh, that's kind of funny. Fred Taylor, Andrew and James, Rudy Johnson, Mo Williams, Sean Alexander, the team that beat him in the Super Bowl. Deuce! Thomas Stephen Davis. Jerry Rice. I knew I should have picked up this bastard. <laughs> there wasn't that many 1,000 yard receivers. Hmm. Jason Taylor, of course. Um, interceptions? Holy crap, that's a lot. But Bobby Taylor? Okay, so we're playing the playoffs here. And so I'm, I'm assuming this is what I'm going to do for the playoffs. I will check... Um, submit week. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Chargers come away with a two-point nail-biting win. Ray Lewis had another good performance in the win and showed us why he's ranked up at the top of the league. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Bears pick up their 11th win of the year. And in our final game, we had the Dolphins come away victorious. And before we leave you on this special wildcard edition of NFL Primetime, Let's hand out a few game balls to our prime time players. That'll do it, everybody. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us in the Bristol Studios. We'll see you for the division championships here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I really thought there was going to be a video for that. I really did. I'm not lying. That's why I put it. But I don't know. It was really lackluster. I don't think we're going to get past this team. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Panthers come away with a decisive 10-point win. Jed Weaver stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Moosin Muhammad pulled down 100-plus receiving yards and helped his Buccaneers beat the Bears. And last but not least, we had the Patriots come away victorious. So as the field narrows to four, let's hand out a few special playoff-sized game balls to this weekend's prime time players. That'll do it everyone. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks so much for joining us in the Bristol studios. We'll see you for the conference championships here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Okay, so I don't know if you noticed what I noticed, but um, Chad Pennington was not playing that game against Carolina. 
It was Drew Brees. So something happened. Someone got hurt. In our first game this week, we had the Bengals come away with a seven-point win. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. Fortunately, just a single injury to report this week, but unfortunately, it's a season-ending injury. Jamie Sharper had to be placed on injured reserve, so he'll be on the sidelines for the rest of the year. Just a key blow to the heart of this defense. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. And last but not least, we had the Buccaneers come away victorious. So before we embark on some serious Super Bowl hype, let's look back and dole out a few game balls for our primetime players from today's conference championships. 32 teams kicked things off back in September, each having this game as their ultimate goal. Only two teams remain. One team will stand alone as champions of the National Football League. I'm Chris Berman, and that just about wraps it up. Thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol Studios. We'll see you for the Super Bowl here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. <sighs> so who do you guys think is going to win this Super Bowl? Tampa Bay, Cincinnati? Ooh. Wow. Let's see how it works. Well, apparently you can't do a primetime thing on this because I was trying to. But Tampa Bay won. Well, hey guys, that's it. That was the end of the first season. If you liked it and if you liked the way it was edited and all that stuff, well, then continue to just like the videos. It, it really lets me know that you guys really do like these videos and it makes me want to do more of them. I like doing these. I like doing these especially because it's just it's just so random sometimes. And so we finished the season 11-7. and 7. Keep in mind that one of them was in the playoffs and one of the losses was in the playoffs as well which means we basically won 10 and 6 but the surprising fact here is if we would have won one home game or if we would have beaten Tampa Bay the second meeting we would have had home field advantage and if we would have had home field advantage I think we would have gone to the Super Bowl but again if you like the video just show your support. If you've done this before, whether it's in Madden or if it's in this game, I'd like to hear about it. I'd like to see it. I want to know what you guys do too. Alright, so hey, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time I upload.